everybody, it's Femtrooper, and today I'm going to be reviewing Final Fantasy 16. There is a lot to talk about with this one. Oh my goodness, because it's only one of the biggest JRPGs of all time. Even calling it that has been controversial. So let's just dive in and I will tell you my thoughts. Final Fantasy 16 is, in a way, a game that goes back to its roots, but is completely different. As are most of the titles in the series. They're always different. It's a love-hate thing. If you love Final Fantasy, you'll probably find that you love some and you don't like others. I'm sure there are people who love them all, but there are a few that just didn't jive with me. With this one, it definitely falls in the category of not really my thing, but it definitely had moments that made it not be like my worst Final Fantasy. So that doesn't mean I didn't like it. I just didn't love this game. I didn't love it. And a huge factor, and this is what I want to say right away, is that this game kind of overstays its welcome for me because it has really high points. Like, my God, it, it, there are some of the most epic scenes, epic moments, epic battles that you've ever seen. And then some really boring, dull moments that feel, to me, feel like side quests that didn't feel like it should be part of the main story. Like I'd be doing like a fetch quest or, or I'd have to, uh, you know, beat some kind of enemy for somebody. And I felt like, man, this feels so like a side quest. Why is this part of the main story? Why is this a part of a main chapter? It was really, really dull and really took me out of the, 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 the feeling of this game. It just really had boring moments. Yeah, I know. Sorry. I'm going to say it. it. The game is kind of boring. It really just, oh my God. Like it's a, it's a huge yawn at points. And then, and then there are moments where it's not, it is like so intense, so exciting. You're really like hyped. Yeah. And then it goes back to the boring moments again. So I'm just saying that because that really took me out of the moment. I mean, a lot of games have, you know, they're, they're just exciting throughout or they're just, a, it's a constant high, or they're straight up boring. This is like a mix of both, but I found it to be extreme. It was like, it was only super exciting and only super boring. I was never just like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like it was really just, whoa, oh my God, I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> so getting away from that, the story is pretty good, but I found that because of all the dull moments, it really kind of took a turn, it took a nosedive and kind of went down. I thought it started so strong, my god. The demo was really interesting. When I first saw the trailer for this game, I was not excited because I don't like medieval settings and I will admit that right now. I'm clearly not the target in terms of the aesthetic of this game, that's fine, but I am a Final Fantasy fan, so I'm all about it. I really wanted to check it out. And then the demo changed my mind. I was like, hey, it's medieval, but I'm really enjoying the story. I, I like this guy, the character is great and I'm, I'm into it. And then when I started playing the game, I had that same vibe. This game is really exciting. I'm really stoked. Everything is fun. And then I'd get to a boss battle and I was like, whoa, that's epic. That's really intense. Wow, this game is great. And then it would just get kind of boring for a couple hours and you're like, okay, nothing's happening. Pretty boring. And then it would get really exciting again. So that's kind of the way this game feels. And I'm not a huge fan of that because Sometimes I'd sit down for an hour or two and that was my weekend and then my whole weekend of Final Fantasy 16 was boring. Now, yes, I found the story a teensy bit boring. However, <laughs> there are some things about this game that are fantastic and one of them I have to say right off the bat is the music. It, not something I thought I would really like, but it's really good. Ever since Nobuo Uematsu kind of stepped away from Final Fantasy, I've always been like, eh, like Final Fantasy 15. I don't really remember a lot of tracks from that. Uh, it's still a really good score. It's well done. It's orchestral and great, but I just, it's not memorable to me. It's not memorable to me like Final Fantasy 8, for instance, has a very memorable soundtrack and Final Fantasy 7 is like phenomenal, right? But then, I, I don't know, some of the Final Fantasies just, they're, it's like they, they do their, you know, they do the justice, like, yep, it's, this is a nice score, it fits what's going on, but for some reason, 
I actually really liked the score in this game. I thought it was fantastic. So I, I'm really into it. I've been listening to it outside, like I've like been listening to it on my own voluntarily and I, I really think it's well done so props to that I do think everything was done well I think what made me like it so much is it's a little bit creepy and they incorporated um, the original Final Fantasy theme into it and it was very dark creepy eerie I absolutely loved it so well done it's probably my favorite part about this game I do think the characters in this game are very strong some more than others I think Clive, the main character, great. And the Sid in this game, very well done, excellent. But I, I was a little bit let down by some of the other characters. This isn't really like a Final Fantasy where you have like four people in your party and you're wandering around. It's not quite like that. But there are main characters like Jill is a, is a quite a main character in the story. But I found her just a little boring. She's a little dull and I wanted maybe some more personality out of her. I don't know. I just wasn't like... I wasn't in love with Jill, but I do like Clive a lot. Really strong character. I won't mention some other ones. I don't want to spoil stuff. But as far as main protagonists go, Final Fantasy usually does a pretty good job. And Clive is no exception. He's a good one. I liked his story. I felt for him. And, you know, I wanted him to, to win. Like, he's the character you were rooting for. And I think that's strong. Because if you don't care about the main character, eh, you're not so good. I'm going to throw this out here. I haven't heard it much from other people. But let's just talk about the graphics in this game because I'm gonna say this and I'm I'm just uh, I gotta just do it. I think some of the graphics and uh, like character design in this game were actually pretty bad. So hold on, hold on. Cutscenes in this game really solid. They look very modern. They are what you expect from a AAA 2023 game. Great from a big company. Okay. I was like, wow, these look excellent. This is, this is nice. <laughs> but then there are times when I was just talking to an NPC and wow, like the lip syncing is horrendous in this game. Even in some of the cutscenes, I will be honest, not good. It's really bad. But sometimes you would talk to like an NPC and I thought, holy smokes, am I playing like Skyrim on PS3 or am I playing like even worse? Like it looked like, kind of felt like I was playing a PS2 game and I, I Maybe I'm just being super, like, you know, over the top here with, with what I was seeing, but, like, I, I just thought the lip syncing was horrendous, even though it was meant for English, which also threw me off a bit, because I really wanted to play it in Japanese, and then I ended up playing it in English. Great voice acting, by the way. Great voice acting. It didn't wreck the experience for me, but I do like playing Japanese games, usually in Japanese, so that kind of sucked because it didn't line up properly, so I just thought, to heck with it, and I played it in English. But the, the, the sinking is still like really bad at points. And I thought this is like a triple A game. I, ex you know, I expect really like amazing work here. And I, I don't know, I wasn't getting it. Some of the NPCs, like the dullest expressions and like, like really PS2, like early PS3 kind of vibes going on here. And I, I'm just saying it. I don't know what you guys thought, but please like tell me what you thought of the, the graphics and stuff. To be honest with you. I thought the scenes where you were just like walking around as a character, like you're just going from A to B, looked phenomenal. The battles, phenomenal. But the second I'd like talk to a person, I could like see this like, this like dullness in their eyes, like a PS2 character. And I thought, what am I playing? Like, this is not a PS5 game. Like I was just like, like it's definitely not even PS4. Like it just, it looked bad. It looked really bad to me. So I just had to mention it. Now, in terms of gameplay, this is an action RPG. So no turn-based stuff here, but I was actually totally okay with it because you had to select different things and there was some strategy going on and I, I actually enjoyed it. Like I'm the worst at describing battle systems. I'm not even gonna go there. You guys know, I just, it's not my thing. I don't care. And you can play the game or play the demo to find out. But in terms of the enjoyment I got from the battle system, I was actually okay with it. Like, yeah, I prefer turn-based, but like I really enjoyed Final Fantasy VII Remake and that's action-based. So I like action-based combat. It's fine. I love Crisis Core. Like it, it's fine. I just, I'm not like gonna like jump on the rooftops, like screaming, woohoo, because you know, it's okay. Like I'm not like loving it, but I was totally okay with it. It was fine. It didn't 
like hinder my experience playing this game and I you know I had a fun time with it. This is a Final Fantasy that is not my favorite because of the it, it, it sort of started to feel like a chore at times uh, because the 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 dull points were so boring that it took away. It was like, you know, this game that is only 30 to 35 hours long feels sometimes like an 80 hour game and that is weird. And so, yeah, I was wanting it to end in a way because I thought no more of these boring like back and forth conversations at the hideaway, like super boring. I just, I, I don't know, like, I'm sorry guys, but it was just not, I was not feeling that. But then when something crazy would happen to Clive, I was like, okay, now we're talking, now I'm excited. So <laughs> it's weird because like, I just really didn't jive at all with Final Fantasy 15. But this game I did with parts. So in a, in a way, it's like, I like the game, but in other ways, I'm like, eh, it's just not a perfect game. It has many flaws. I know there are people out there that like really loved this game because it was a huge throwback to the original games. This is very medieval here. Like there's no, there's no, uh, like, um, cars or, um, you know, modern steampunk kind of things. This is very medieval. And I mean, quite frankly, that's a setting that if you like, you will dig this. If you like Game of Thrones, you will dig this. But I don't really like that. I know that's a weird thing to say as a JRPG fan, but in a way I'm like, no, because there's a lot of JRPGs that aren't that. You know, they take elements from medieval or their space or their modern day or whatever, right? Like modern you can have like Persona 5 or you can have Earthbound. I mean, you can have a lot of things with, you can have anything, honestly, but straight up like hardcore medieval, not really my thing. I mean, Clive is too hot for, like the dude is too sexy for medieval times. I mean, that's the fun of Final Fantasy. But other than that, I mean, I just, I don't connect with that environment. Uh, I just don't. So, so in that regard, the story is never gonna probably be a favorite because I just don't really dig that environment. So that's a thing that I'm saying a heads up because if you do, you're probably gonna like love this, right? But you still might find these dull moments boring. So that is also a point I wanna make. Other than that, guys, I do recommend the game because it's Final Fantasy. I mean, come on, you gotta play it. There's always gonna be ups and downs with these games because that's the whole point of the series. What makes a Final Fantasy game? Well, I don't know anymore because they're all so different. They change things up. I like that. I know that every time I get a Final Fantasy game, I, I'm gonna get something different. Like Final Fantasy 17, for all you know, it's gonna be like in space and it's gonna be like, it's just so different or it might be more modern or I don't know, like there'll be things that are flying, there'll be airplanes, who knows? It, it's just so different and it could be turn-based, it could be this, I doubt it, but they seem to be really getting away from that these days and that's okay, but whatever. But Final Fantasy is Final Fantasy. It's still, I still love it a lot and I know that when I play it, I'm gonna get a solid experience, the music's gonna be phenomenal and I'm probably gonna have a good time. So yeah, I did have a good time, but I did find that it overstayed its welcome a little bit for me definitely felt like the longest 30 hour game I've ever played and that's not good but other than that like I still had a good time so it's a weird one I'm like I'm kind of like lukewarm on this one because I feel like yeah I enjoyed ABC but didn't enjoy like you know DEF like I, there's just parts I didn't enjoy and parts I did so you should just go into it knowing like it's a little bit iffy with fans. I know people that really like this game and I know people that thought it was just okay. I don't think I've heard anyone say they straight up hated it, but it really seems to be a eh, or a like win, right? So definitely check it out. It's worth it. I mean, it's Final Fantasy. You should play it, but it's just not my favorite Final Fantasy and that's the point I'm trying to make. Did you like Final Fantasy 16 or did you think it was kind of boring, dull, or are you like me where you're like, you like some parts, you don't like others? Tell me in the comments below and of course, please like, subscribe and have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.